I'm going to show you how to zoom in and out using Pan and Zoom in Power Director. All I want to do is zoom a zoom, 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 and a boom, boom. Before I jump into this tutorial, I want to remind everyone that there are several ways to skin a cat. And just like skinning cats, there's several ways to zoom in on a video using Power Director. If you want to see some of the plethora of ways that you can get it done, just search YouTube for Power Director University Zoom, and you will see a bunch of different tutorials that I have made using different tools. Let's jump into the tutorial. I have a pick of a wild goose on track one. And there are several different ways that you can access the pan and zoom tool using power director. If you left click on the clip, you can go to edit and then you can go to pan and zoom. Or you can left click on the clip and you can do alt two and it'll open up the pan and zoom tool. As you can see here, there are a bunch of preset moves that you can play around with, but we're going to use user defined. So we'll left click on user defined and it opens up the magic motion designer or the pan and zoom tool. We'll start off by creating the zoom in. You want to move your playhead to a beginning point for your zoom. And you want to add a keyframe. This will make the camera stay exactly where it is from zero seconds to two seconds. Then you want to move your playhead to a point where you want the zoom in to stop. And you want to add another keyframe. And here you want to place your cursor over this blue dot and you want to move it to where you want the center of the screen to be. Then you want to change your scale. And if you move it down, it will zoom in. Next, we'll create the zoom out. You want to move your playhead to a position where the zoom out should start. And you want to choose duplicate keyframe. And you want to duplicate the previous keyframe. This will actually make the camera stay exactly at this zoomed in point up until this keyframe when it will start to move. You want to move your playhead to the point where you want the zoom out to stop. And here you want to click on add a keyframe. Then you want to move it back to the original starting position or a position that's zoomed out. So we're going to change the X and Y positions to 0 0.5. And this will center the camera. And then you want to change your scale width back to one. And that will make it zoom back out. Next, we'll close out the position to make sure that it stays zoomed all the way out throughout the end of the video. So we'll move our playhead to the end. And we'll click duplicate keyframe. And we'll duplicate from the previous keyframe where it zoomed out. And we'll click on OK. If you want to create an instant zoom using jump cuts, check out this tutorial. Don't forget to smash my face to subscribe, hit me up with your comments, and drop me a like down below.